So what we want to do now is we want to play exactly what Rob Parker had to say in response to some of these NBA players. Uh, and I'm going to come back and react to his comments. Take a listen to that there. The uh, USA uh, men's basketball team, right? And uh, the players all voted. Is that right, Rob G? They voted. The best player is LeBron James on Team USA. Rob G has the details. That's right. The Athletic conducted an informal poll of the uh, 15 camp participants for Team USA and asked them who they thought was the best player in their little mini camp that they've had. By a runaway margin, five votes, which five out of 15 is a lot. LeBron James. No one else received more than two. And they actually got. Did Bronny get the vote in this? I'm just asking. Okay. He did not. And they also got. On the record comments by a couple of guys who LeBron faced off in that Team USA scrimmage, the select guys. One of them, Amen Thompson, about LeBron. I told my brother after the first day, I was like, dude's 40 and he's the best player on the court. Jabari Smith Jr. added, I feel like LeBron's focus, Steph's focus, people have been around doing this for a long time, keeping that focus, still keep that hunger. That's what impressed me the most. Sean King, I'm here to tell you right now. That if LeBron James is the best player on Team USA, (laughs) you can forget about a gold medal because that ain't happening. LeBron James, if he's your best player, there's something wrong. There's something uh, uh, stinky in Denmark. If I put my finger on it, I'd need to wash it. That's how bad it is. A 40-year-old is the best player on Team USA? He's better than Kevin Durant? He's better than Steph? LeBron James? who can only make the playoffs through the play-in with an Anthony Davis on his squad, that's the guy who's the best player on Team USA. I want Team Sweden. I'm going to pull for (laughs) Team Sweden. I'm out. I'll say this. On on USA, I'm out. The first thing I thought was, okay, Braun took the USA select team to dinner and and, and he (laughs) paid the tab. Like, it had to be something because – just from a mindset standpoint, like, what is wrong with these young guys? Like, to me, these practices should be all about Jason Tatum and Anthony Edwards. Thank you. Who, who's about to assume the mantle as the guy? Thank you. I, this, this bothers me. This bothers me to no end. Not saying that LeBron's not still a great player, but he wasn't a great player in any of the highlights that are available to the public. He shot a flat foot brick from three-point in the highlights. He's, but, Sean, let's just be – can we be real? He doesn't impact winning the way he used to. And and I'm going to say this why. I'm going to say why. His numbers are tremendous, but they don't win like that. And 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 the years gone by, if LeBron was averaging the numbers that he put up last year, the Lakers wouldn't be in no play in. They would be vying for the division title. And they're they're not in those races anymore. That's why I say it doesn't impact winning his numbers. So you heard you heard what Rob Parker had to say. Excuse the noise in the background. If you hear that, that's uh, it's a lot of rain outside. So excuse the excuse the noise. So you heard what he had to say, right? He was basically roasting him. Now, what do I think about the players voting LeBron as the best player on the roster? Well, if I go and look at the roster, um, there are some players that one can make an argument that he's better than, but to say he's the best player on that roster, I think is a tough one. I think we can obviously say he's better than Bam Adebayo, Devin Booker. Uh, you could make an argument and say Kevin Durant, um, but he uh, and Tyrese Halliburton, Drew Holiday, Jason Tatum. Even if you want, you can say Kawhi Leonard. I'm sure there's some people out there that will say that I wouldn't. But you cannot say LeBron James is better than Anthony Davis. That's absurd. Like Anthony Davis is the Lakers' best player, so you can't say that. Um, I wouldn't say he's better than Stephen Curry. Right? I think at least they're pretty pretty close. I wouldn't say he's better than Anthony Edwards. I certainly would not say he's better than Joel Embiid. Like, that's craziness, right? So I don't think he's better than Joel Embiid. I don't think he's better than his own teammate, Anthony Davis. I don't think he's better than Kawhi Leonard. I don't believe he's better than Anthony Edwards. And maybe him and uh, Stephen Curry are neck and neck, and maybe you could say that he's better uh, than Kevin Durant. I don't know, right? To me, this is all irrelevant. Because who's the best player on Team USA doesn't reflect who's the best player in the world. The best player in the world, in my personal view, is uh, Nikola Jokic. Right now, if it was in the entire NBA, I think you you would have much more pushback.